If a train runs at 70 km per hour, it reaches its destination late by 12 minutes. That means if a train travels at the speed of 70 km per hour, then it is late by 12 minutes. It is 12 minutes late. But if it runs at 80 km per hour, now it is increasing its speed and running at 80 km per hour, it is late by 3 minutes. Then also it is late by 3 minutes. The correct time to cover the journey is, you are going to find the correct time or the time it must take to travel when it is neither late nor first. So here, as you can see, the distance it is traveling at 70 km per hour is the same distance it is traveling at 80 km per hour. That means in both the cases, distance is same. It is covering the same distance. So as we know, distance is equal to speed into time. And here, the distance is same. That is constant. So we can say if the speed increases, time taken will decrease. If the time taken increases, then speed will decrease. That means the speed and time are inversely proportional to each other. So we can write here the speed that is given. So first, it was 70 km per hour. Next, it is 80 km per hour. So, if we find out the ratio, you will get 7 is to 8. This is the ratio of speed. But we know the speed and time are inversely proportional if the distance covered is constant. So, here distance cover is constant. So, it will be 8 is to 7. So, here from 8, time is becoming 7. So, this difference that you are getting in ratio, that is 8 minus 7, is 1 unit. This 1 unit will represent this one, that is the led by 12 minutes and led by 3 minutes difference. So, 12 minus 3, if you do, then you will get 9. So, this 1 unit is equal to 9 minute. So here as 1 unit is equal to 9 minutes, so 8 unit you need to multiply by 9, so you will get here 72 minutes. So 1 unit is equal to 9 minutes, so 8 unit will be 8 into 9, 72 minutes. So this 72 minutes which you are getting, you are getting the time taken for this particular 10 which is traveling at 70 km per hour. But it is late by 12 minutes, so late by 12 minutes, that means what? It is taking 12 minutes more by traveling for 72 minutes so 72 minutes which it is taking now it is 12 minutes more than the actual time so 72 minus 12 minutes if you do you will get here 60 minutes so the actual time or the correct time to cover the journey is 60 minutes that is equal to one hour that is our final answer